Hi everyone, my name is Vineet and welcome to the data structure series. So in this series we will be covering so many topics of data structure and one of them is linker list. So as you know that linker list itself has so many subtopics which we will be covering one by one in upcoming tutorials. So as a part of this video we will be covering uh, singly linker list. So let's discuss about the singly linker list first then we will be writing operation for that. So a singly linked list is a linear data structure which is used to storing the collection of nodes. And a singly linked list has a few properties. Let's discuss that first. So first will be head node which will always point to first node of linked list. And second one is node itself which has basically two parts one is data or value and another another one is uh, a reference or you can say uh, address of next node and the third part is last node which will always point to null So let's discuss that in pictorial view. So we have head node which is pointing to the first node of linked list and another po another point is uh, another property is node. So we have node here which has data as well as reference. So each node has their own data and uh, the second part is reference which will be holding the address of next node and these all connecting to each other using this reference link and the last point is last node so last node will always point to null you can see here as depicted in this picture so now these are the few properties now let's get started with the program so let's create a head first so private node and head now uh, you can see uh, there is compile time error because I have to import this so I have already created one uh, class with data uh, data member as uh, next and data so uh, this data will be holding the value of current node and this next will be holding the address of uh, next node so I have created some getter and setter for uh, these two fields to access these fields outside of this class and I have created uh, one uh, constructor where we will be injecting the uh, data of current node inside this node class. So head part is done now the next part is uh, creating a multiple nodes. Now let's create multiple nodes node or first new node so we have created one arc constructor where we'll, we will be able to pass uh, data as integer type now we have created one node let's create three more nodes and let's give unique name of each reference of node class second third fourth and the second node should have data is 20 third is 30 and fourth data should be 40 now we have uh, we have created these multiple nodes now the next part is we have to connect them together so that it will create a chain of linker list so let's do that now connect nodes together to frame of so 
we will be connecting these nodes and head together so it will be framing a chain of linker list now let's do that let's create a uh, object of current class so that we will be able to access the non-static uh, member that is head inside the static method new and let's pass uh, so list dot head should always point to list dot head should always point to first node first and first dot next should always point to second node so first node next should always point to second and second uh, next second node next should always point to third node so second dot next node should always point to third node and third node next should always point to fourth node so third dot next should always point to fourth node and fourth fourth dot next should always point to fifth so there is no any fifth node we have only four node so fourth node is fourth node next is pointing to null so there is no need to pass uh, null uh, in the fourth dot next ex explicitly by default it will be pointing to null okay so uh, we have created this chain uh, of linker list we have connected these nodes together and had as well so it it is framing a chain of linker list now the next part is uh, printing those uh, nodes one by one which will be basically framing a linked list so that part will be covering in next video so we have done with this video guys and thank you so much for watching this video